Hey everybody and welcome back to the Tecmo Super Bowl Gamer Channel. And today we are in week nine of the Houston Oilers, Oilers full season playthrough. And uh, we are going against the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Cincinnati Bengals right now are third in our division. And uh, they're like two and five, I think. And of course we are six and one. So uh, I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy game, but... I mean, not looking so good for the uh, the Bengals. Um, I know our offense right now is the fourth-ranked offense in the league, and our defense is the number one defense in the league. So um, definitely rolling on. I know Warren Moon. I haven't showed the stats, but he's got like 2,300 yards, and I think the next person is like Marino, and he's got like 16, 1,700 yards passing. So. Um, but right now, we are at third down and 11. So it looks like the defense is kind of stepping up for the Bengals. I thought they were going to cover that guy in the middle, but they didn't. And that would have been a first down, but we got it blocked. So this may be the first time of the season we're actually punting the ball. If not the first, it's only like the first or the second, that's for sure. We haven't punted too many times this year. But I will say the one thing about our offense being ranked in the, uh, <laughs> the number four ranked offense in the NFL, um, our rushing yards have been the greatest contribution out of all of our offense with 57 yards. So, you know, <laughs> 57 yards rushing for the whole season so far. That's a heck of a stat. All right. Incomplete pass. So we have Esiason going back in shotgun here. Oh, he's down. He's down. Got him. All right, third down and 13. And if we can stop this play, we will get the ball back and should be able to, should be able to do a little bit more on that. Oh, boy. What kind of pass was that? You had somebody wide open, Boomer. Come on, man. go. We got a punt. Oh, he's going to be done. We're not going anywhere with that. All right, so let's try to make this offense work. See if we can get a score on this. Why do they always leave him wide open? Jeffries. There we go. You have one guy. You got it. This is a touchdown for sure. I mean, everybody else is running like 20 miles an hour, but touchdown. There we go. All right, Jeffries got the touchdown. It always feels good to take the lead early in the game. It's a whole lot better playing uh, playing from ahead than it is playing from behind. So. All right, so we're giving the ball back to the Bengals. I think they just had a three and out on the last drive. And they didn't give themselves too good a field position, but they didn't do too, too bad. Oh, the reverse. Lock it. There we go. So they're pretty heavily relying on the, uh, the pass. And of course, as soon as I say that, Icky Woods just breaks out like a 40-yard run. Ugh. And just so you guys know, if my uh, voice sounds a little bit weird... I am a little under the weather, but hey, I'm not going to let that stop me, right? Hold on, hold on. Holy crap. All right. So we don't have to worry about Boomer too much, but we definitely have to worry about the running game. All right. Here we go. Oh, block it, block it, block it. Oh, you were there. You should have blocked it, dude. Come on. All right. So it is tied. Seven to seven. Well, we actually got pretty good field position here. Oh, and they're giving us better and better field position. All right. So we are already in their territory. I like that. Thank you. And they left them wide open again. Seriously? 
I mean, I'm not complaining. I keep letting us score like this, but you know. Nice. That's his second touchdown today. All right. So we are now back up 14 to seven. And I'd like to see that lead keep increasing. I don't like the fact that we're uh, having a close game so far with the third-ranked team in the division. Oh, come on. What kind of jump was that? Are we really going to let them score on us like this? Come on, guys. Oh, okay, there we go. We were just letting them think that they were getting a good run. Okay, I like that. Now you're going to cover the guy. Come on, Duncan. There we go. Ready, down, hook. Oh, nobody's open. Yeah, that wasn't uh, too good. I think that play fell apart pretty quickly. You know, I would love to run the ball here, but um, it seems like every time we try to run the ball, we lose yards. So I'm just going to pass it right there. And just, just to prove my point here, here, let's, let's let White run the ball here. Okay, well that didn't work. Catch it, catch it, catch it. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back to the line. There we go. Ready, down, hook. Touchdown to end the first half. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. 21 to 7 at halftime, guys. I will catch you in the second half. Start of the third quarter. It is 21 to 7. And uh, we had a really nice drive to end the first half there. And uh, hopefully we can continue building on this lead. So far, the running game for the uh, Bengals has been a whole lot more potent than the passing game. Five yards out in front of you, and they say, you know, they're running at 25 miles an hour. There we go, blocking. Nope. Ah, crap. I still think the worst I've ever seen somebody turn on the Jets, man. I, I think it was when I was playing with the 49ers. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been the Super Bowl. And Bo Jackson got out in front of me, and the dude was like, just gone. I don't know if you guys remember that, but he was gone. Like, he ran like 80 yards in probably like 20 seconds. It was insane. Alright, Drew Hill. Your turn. There we go. Uh, 
28 to 14. The bad news is the Bengals are doing a little bit better than I thought they would. The good news is, is we're still winning by 14. Oh no. Really guys? Alright, I don't know who you are, but please don't jump five yards early. And you jump five yards early. Holy crap, and just like that, they're within seven again. Come on. All right, 21 to 28. So I really think that this game has just been a lot of small mistakes that have really given the Bengals the opportunity to kind of get back into the game here. I mean, you think the fumble recovery, that should have never been the Bengals getting that fumble recovery. I'm not willing to run this ball. I don't trust. I don't trust the man. I think Moon's probably our leading rusher. <laughs> Alright, we got the first down. But we are definitely still in their territory. It looks like they're starting to cover our guy, too. I think they figured out what we like to go to. So I think they're doing a good job on shutting him down. But, again, I'm going to show some love with your deal. Come on. Man. I've been giving it to Jeffrey's Oh, there we go. No. Man, I thought they were about to catch him. All right. We got a chance to make it 35 to 21. She been 35 to 14. But, you know, we wanted to let them get the fumble recovery on that kickoff. All right, here we go. 35-21. Got him. All right, and we have, well, a little under three and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're down. You're not going anywhere. Oh my gosh. Wow. I've been trying focus trying to focus on covering the run because that was where they were killing us the most, but I might have got a little bit too much coverage there and left some guys wide open, so we're gonna change up a little bit of what we're doing. Especially being that it's the fourth quarter and they're down by two touchdowns. Surely they're gonna be doing some more passing. I was hoping he was going to jump after the quarterback, but I don't think he, uh, I don't know if he could have got him or not. Oh, that's out of bounds. Turnover. Man. Almost got him, though. He was, he was almost there. There we go, Duncan. Holy crap, he's doing a good run right here, boy. Oh, you better get this touchdown, man. You deserve it. Come on, don't let him catch you. There we go, Duncan. The world runs on Duncan. There we go. Forty-two to twenty-one, and I do have to say, uh, just just because I brought up Duncan, I know I said the world runs on Duncan, and that's a Duncan Donuts reference. But I have to put my vote in. Krispy Kreme is way better than Duncan Donuts. Both are good, but if I had my choice, I'd go with Krispy Kreme. Here we 
go. Oh, I thought he was gonna reverse that into a pass. All right, 12 seconds left in the game. It's 42 to 21. They had to score 21 points in about 12 seconds, which I think is, is just about as impossible as you can get in this game. So I think we're gonna end the game on that pass block right there. There we go. All right, so the end of the game, 42 to 21. The Oilers are over the Bengals. Um, as far as rushing, look at that. Warren Moon has gotten 16 yards rushing. There we go. Uh, of course, 78% completion rate. That's pretty good on the passing side. Uh, pretty accurate. And 407 yards. Uh, really looking good right there. Um, we kept Boomer Sias into a 25% completion rate with only 53 yards. And uh, just like I was thinking during the game, man, it was it was the Russian that was killing us, and they got 168 yards on the ground. So, uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the video. We'd love to hear what you think about the game in the comments down below. Hey, if you want to talk about the Dunkin' Donuts and the Krispy Kreme thing, put that in the comments down below, too. Um, <laughs> other than that, thanks for checking out the game, and we'll see you in the next one.